Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft Word 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to insert pre-formatted document parts. Let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to show you how to insert in is a cover page. And if you do that, I recommend clicking at the very beginning of your document. You guys can see it's an office procedures document for me. And so I always go right up to the very beginning. And then I click before the very first word. I go to the insert tab. I go to the pages group and right here is the cover page button. Your document will make a great first impression with a stylish cover page. And so I can click right here and then I can choose any of these cover pages. There's about 15 in here and so I go right here and I'm going to choose banded. And you'll see that when I click banded, it's going to insert a cover page as my first page of my document. And down here is where we were before. Now I can change the document title. Right here I'm going to type in office procedures. Notice that I did not write this in all caps intentionally, but this is the style for the cover page. So don't be alarmed if you didn't type in all caps and it shows up in all caps. Down here is the author. I'm going to highlight the author's name and change that to my own. And then right down here is the company name. For the company name, this company is called Consolidated Messenger. And so I just go ahead and fill in this information. Okay, and this will actually update the company, author, and title of the document in your document properties. Down here is the company address. For this company, I'm just going to type in a generic address like 1234 Main Street, New York, New York. And for that, I now have updated this cover page. Now, the cool thing about um, cover pages is again they look nice but you could also create text boxes to match them so I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to use a building block tool to create a uh, text box right next to the word warehouse and so if I create a text box based off of our current theme I go to the insert tab text group and I could go right here to text box and I could actually add in a quote and you guys can see over here they have like sidebar quotes um, you know, a bunch of different types. And so I'm actually going to choose one near the top called banded quote. Notice that the cover page and the quote that I'm using are banded. They're part of the same theme. Okay, this will really make your document come together with a similar theme. And then right here it says grab your reader's attention with a great quote. So I'm going to click right here. It's going to highlight automatically because this text is meant to be changed. And then I'm going to type in the message that I want for the quote. And that's going to be consolidated messenger believes in opportunity for all. Alright, so I type in that we are an equal opportunity employer. There we go. Alright, so I've typed in that quote and now we can see that again it matches that theme of the original cover page. So that's how we use building blocks to create pre-formatted objects or pre-formatted parts within our document and also update some of our document settings using a cover page and text box. So if this video has been helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, please put it in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.